laptop, office laptop. It just doesn't let me. Can you help me out otherwise? Yeah, sure. Right. I'll I'll check it. Okay. So we'll check it and uh, maybe uh, after the session or tomorrow. So I'll just uh, share. You can share your screen. We'll try. Uh, because if your office laptop is having any restriction, you can talk to your network uh, people. So they will help you to enable the option. Okay. Okay. So, so I, when I click in there, it's going somewhere. I do not know where it's going. It's not doing anything. Yeah. When you click on that's okay. When you click on connect, it is not coming at all, right? Anything. So might be no. they, they they disable the uh, outside uh, port. So because of that reason, so you are not able to access it. Oh, okay. You can check with your network team, so they will help you out. Yeah. Okay. So now I just log into the BA Launchpad to create a web intelligence report. Go to the application, create a new web intelligence. So click on later and just to try to create a new web report by going to the application. So it is a common everywhere, even in your office laptop also, if you try to open a web intelligence application, it will take time. Click on accept to run. And click on new document. And here I'm choosing the universe. We can develop a report by connecting to the Bex queries also. So the, this Bex access, so we'll discuss at the time of BW with PO. Okay, so I'm choosing the universe now. And you have the list of the universes are available. So I am choosing the one of the universe which is called E Fashion. Click on select. And uh, try to add the year object state. And also I'm having the product lines. Sales revenue, quantity sold. Say suppose if you apply the query level filter, so then what happened? I can see, sorry, not uh, filter, I'm just applying the filter. Say suppose I'm just selecting the 2004. If, if you select 2004, so it create a filter, it create a restriction in a where class where year equal to 2004, it will bring only the 2004 data from the source system. It will fetch only the 2004 data from the source system. Okay. So in case if user want to see 2005 data, sometime you want to see the 2006 data, or you want to see, select the 2015 data. So you want to choose his own data. You want to select his own data. To select his own data, instead of applying the filter, instead of applying the query level filter, so which I'm selecting the prompt option. Click on prompt. Okay. If you select the prompt, so it will ask user to it will ask user to select the values. Okay, now I'm just selecting the 2007. Click OK. Okay. 
so i'm just to select the 2007 okay and user can change any time so by refreshing the report say suppose i select 2007 and he can choose his own values depends on his requirement so you want to run a report with the 2015 data please keep everybody in the mute so we are recording the session and when you go through the recorded session again it will be a, uh, it will create a lot of noise so please keep everybody in the mute swati i think you are in unmute can you please go on mute hello so i'm just keeping okay thank you yeah now in the mute okay fine you can unmute yourself also anyone uh, i'm not uh, given any restriction that you can always you can unmute yourself whenever you have a question okay so now I'll see so whenever you create a prompt so based on the values selected in the prompt so that values filter applied on the database so the prompts whatever you selecting the value it restrict the data at the database level now so let's refresh the report again now i want to see uh, 2004 data and i want to see the 2016 data so it will fetch only the 2004 and 16 data from the source system okay i can see the data now 2004 and 6 so if we go to the next page right so we are able to see the 2016 data as well right so this is how user can have a flexibility to select the values fine so that's about the prompts and also we we have discussed the last session is input control radio button right so that is also another option to user select but the input control or drill filter so data actually not restricting at the database level you are fetching all the records once you fetch all the records so there you are applying the filter in the front end so that degrades the performance of the report so so it degrades the performance of the report if you use the input control or drill filter so it's a to improve the performance of the report always use the prompt instead of the input controls or drill filters okay clear everyone and the prompt is having a more flexible you can select a single value or you can select the multiple values also and you can create a prompt multiple objects so there is no restriction that so we can create a prompt only these many prompts in your universe, in your report okay so i'm trying to create a few more prompts so i'm trying to bring the state object and create a prompt and also i'm trying to create a prompt on the product lines so i define the multiple prompts here now run a query so you have the three prompts over here i can see the three prompts right so based on the selection based on the value selection report will display now fine so select a state so let's not uh, select the multiple year values now i want to see new york data and i want to see new york of particular particular product okay now click okay okay so i selected the values based on the value selected the value uh, i mean the year and the state values are displayed so this is how so we can create a prompts and we have some prompt properties say suppose if you refresh the report whatever the last time which i selected that values are selected i don't want to store the values which i selected the last time okay user will give the requirement like this 
So when I refresh the report, whatever the prompt values which I selected, that should not appear in my selected box. Okay. So in that case, what I'm trying to do, so the requirement, first requirement is I don't want to display the list of values. Sorry, not list of values. I don't want to display the the values which I selected last time that should not display. And the type value button should not appear for state. Say suppose user can enter also value, user can enter the values. I enter the value here, I enter the wrong data. So if user enter any wrong data, what happened? No data retrieved query one. So the, which is not retrieving any data because I entered the wrong data. Okay. To avoid that problem, so I don't want the user to do not want to enter any value using a keyboard. He has to select only from list. He has to select only from list, right? So two requirements. One is last value should not appear. Type your value button should not uh, display. For that, what I'm trying to do, edit a query. So for state, so here you have the state prompts are there, state properties, prompt properties. Keep last value select unchecked. Select only from list. And for state also, so I can enter values using a keyboard for state prompt. For product, I don't want to display the last values. Click OK, run query. Now, see? So whatever the last value is which is selected, which is not showing now. So here, uh, 2005, I'm selecting. You can enter a value using a keyboard for state prompt, for year prompt. For state prompt, it is not showing. You have to select only from list. For year, you have the type value button, but state, you do not have it. It is a demo mode. And you can select the all the products. So to select all the products, right? So how to select all the products are control A and choose it. So I want to see the revenue for all the product for 2005 for Colorado, Colorado State. Instead of selecting all the prompts, so I don't I want to keep this. I want to keep this product or product lines as a optional. The third prompt, the third prompt, I want to make it as optional prompt. Optional means, uh, optional means like which in case if you are not selected any value, still I can able to run a report. Now currently, so these prompts are uh, mandatory. You have to select at least one value, right? If you say I'm just selecting. Without selecting any value, I cannot able to run it, right? So you have to select at least one value from the prompt. Okay. So now to get a to get a selection of the prompt. So what I'm trying to do, I want to make an optional prompt of the product. Even if I'm not selecting any value from the prompt, report should run. You can able to run the report. You can able to run the report. Now I'm trying to edit a query. So for products, I'm trying to make it as an optional. Okay. For product, I just try to make it as an optional prompt. Click OK. And also, when you try to run a query, state object, I want to, by default, I want to make a Texas as a default value. Texas, I want to make a default value. By default, Texas should be selected. Okay. So now I'm just selecting 2007 and the state. So by default, even if you are not selected any value, still I can able to run a report because this is optional prompt. Product is the optional prompt. When you create optional prompt, by default, it will not display the list of values. By default, it will not display the list of values. Okay. When you create a prompt uh, with the optional prompt, so by default it will not display the list of values. You have to refresh the prompt values. <coughs> Sorry. 
so you have to uh, rephrase the prompt to get the list of values if it is an optional prompt okay and another requirement is i want to make a optional prompt i want to make a default value as a texas per state when you re refresh the report when you refresh the report by default texas should be selected and for year i want to select the start year and end year okay i don't want to display the list of values for year prompt and also i want to make a start year and end year so how we can do that normally so in a real time requirement so based on the start date end date i selected report should display right similar way i'm just selecting the start year and end year so for that end edit a query i'm trying to remove the prompt and again creating a prompt here select the between operation uh, between operator between and select the prompt and also select the prompt okay two prompts so based on the prompt to start a year and end year based on that so the data will appear in the report and for state prompt i want to make a default value as a texas as i said set a default value state is equal to texas click okay set a default value as a texas now the prompt to start here so i don't want to display the list of values uncheck prompt with the list of values and also end prompt also uncheck prompt with the list of values click okay now run a query by default you want to make a end date as a 2012 or sorry 2017 by default value make you can make it to 2017 end date now run a query see end date by default is a 2017 and you have to select the 2000 let's say suppose i'm just selecting the 2015 start date is start year is 2015 end year is 2017 so report will display 2015 to 17 data 2015 16 and 17 data i can see right so this is how we can create a prompt this is a way we can create a prompt to report level fine and also the year start year and end year is a different location right it should be the sequence order so we can change the prompt order also in a requirement like you know whenever so you are working with the reports they will ask like uh, so i want to or oh, show the prompts in a specific order i want to display the prompt order is specific so then go here go to the query properties under this year you can change the the order so i want to see the year state prompt year start year and end year second order state third order and fourth is the product lines this is how we can change the prompt order so this is the way we can change the prompt order click okay now run a query okay you'll see now so start here 2004 2004 and end year you can change it in case if you want to see 2006 2004 to 2006 data you want to display that also you can do it click okay so your report will display 2004 to 2006 data so this is a way we can create a prompt as per the requirement clear everyone most of the report you can take any web report so we create a prompts so prompt way is very helpful in case user want to run the report manually user want to run the report manually the prompts are helped to the user on a on demand basis you can select uh, based on his requirement to uh, analyze the data okay I hope it's clear about the prompt. Any questions? Anyone have any questions? Hey, Madhukar, this is Arfan. 
Yeah, Arfan, please go ahead. Yes, uh, in prompt you mentioned uh, NDA as 2017. Mm -hmm. Can we can we put formula there? So rather than using 2017, we can use uh, current year. Instead of 2017, can we make it as a just a default year? So which is the current year? Yeah. Automatically? Yes. Yeah. Um, no. Here we can't do that. Okay. But so this that kind of prompts you can define at the inverse level. At the inverse level, uh, we can write uh, the default value selection like that. So what I'll do, I'll just make a default value something like uh, like this. What I can do? Sure. So like this I will do. The current year. I'll just pass the text. Okay. By default is pass the text. CY means it will take the current year. Okay. So where year is equal to CY, then current year of year of current date. Year of the current date. So that is how so we can do that, but that can be done only the universe prompt, not in the query level prompt. So prompt using a front end prompt that cannot be done. Okay. So that you need to write a case statement to, to by default if you want to see the current year. Okay, Fine. Sure. Okay. So that maybe I will explain at the time of inverse design how we can pass the uh, current year sales revenue, current year data always. Okay. Like in a SAP BW, we pass the, some default value, right? Default values currently it will take the current year sales. Similar way, we can pass some text. So the text considered as a current year. Okay. Any any other anyone? Any questions? Now, moving on to another requirement is block level filters, okay? Why we will go for a block level filter that I'll explain or global level filters. Now, I'm just to try to bring a year object, product lines, sales revenue. Okay. I'm just to try to edit a query and adding a one more object. Is the quantity sold? Now also I'm having the state object. You can now run a query. Okay, now I'm trying to have a one more table. So basically I want to see the quantity sold in a one table and sales revenue in one table. So for that, I'm just adding one more table. And here I want to see the year. Product lines. And the quantity sold I want to display here. I just missed. How did you um, add the second table? I'll show you. Simple, go to the report elements and add a table. Okay. So like this, you can just add the year object. Like this way you can add objects here. Fine. Now. So the requirement here, so in the first table, I want to see the some other year data. What it means other year? I want to see uh, 2006 data in a first table. Then I'm applying. So 
and I'm, I'm applying the filter to only the specific block. I'm applying the the filter on only this specific block. Go to the analysis tab and add a filter. Year equal to 2006. This is called the block level filter. Whenever you apply the filter, that filter is applicable to only the one block. That is called the block level filter. And also in the second block, I want to see 2005, 2004. Okay. Of a specific products. I don't want to see the, all the products. I just want to see specific products. Click OK. I'll see. So, so in a separate, in a different blocks, I want to see the different data. So, but all the data is coming from the only the one query. But I need a, some separate conditions for different blocks. So in that case, we'll go for a block level filter. Okay. Okay. Clear what I'm trying to say. So this is how we can apply the block level filter. I'm trying to create a duplicate reports. You can, you can duplicate the reports. In a first tab, see currently whatever the revenue or quantity sold, which is showing for all the states. Now I'm just renaming this California. And the second tab, I just to try to make it as a Florida. Third tab, I just want to make it as a Texas. In the last tab, I want to see all states. Okay. So currently, which is in all the tabs, so which is showing only all the states data. So I'm trying to apply the filter now. Add a filter. So do not select any block. To apply the filter in all the blocks, just select the white space and add a filter. So here in this tab, you have multiple tables. Add a filter state equal to California. Click OK. Now see. So values are changing, right? So this is called the global level filter. Whenever you apply the global level filter, that filter is applicable to in all the blocks. Say suppose if you bring the state object, we'll see. I can see the only the California data. But in your Florida state, in a second tab, I'm not apply a filter. But if you bring the Florida, state sorry if you bring the state i can able to see the all the states data right now i am going to apply the global level filter here add a filter select add a filter and choose the state is equal to florida now earlier it is showing 461 right now you can see so 461 basically which is for all the states now i can see the only the florida state data okay so this is a way we can apply the global level filter because whenever you get a requirement, uh, so in a requirement user show that, so in this table, I want to see this specific data in a separate block. I want to see the separate data and also in a separate tabs. So I want to display the different maybe region data or country data. So in that case, so we'll go for a global level filter. Okay. So then add a filter and the state is equal to Florida state is equal to Florida click OK. OK. Now I can see the Florida data. OK. I can able to see the Florida data. Clear. OK. So this is the one type of filter we can restrict the data. I hope it's clear everyone. Any questions, please go ahead. Okay, perfect. Now, moving on to another requirement. So 
so that is another type of filter condition i can say ranking ranking also one type of filter right so i'm try to create a ranking by using the ranking functionality we can display the top and bottom values select this so i'm try to bring the year object state and also i'm having the sales revenue quantity sold now run a query okay i have a year state sales revenue quantity sold right now i want to see only the top five record this is one type of filter condition right instead of displaying all the data i want to display the only the five top five top five records to get the top five records so go here select the sales revenue and uh, here you can go to the analysis tab and click on ranking and i want to see the top 5 records click on top 5 irrespective of the year and state whatever the is sales revenue is there whatever the top 5 values are there that will display in our report okay this is how we can display the top 5 records Clear? Any questions? No. Maybe sometimes you may get a requirement that I want to see the top three records, top three states. Which are the states is having the highest sales revenue? Top five state, top five sales revenue is different, and top three states are different. Okay. Now I am going to display the top three states sales revenue. rank could by state now i can see only the top 3 states which are the three states is having the sales revenue that will display texas new york and california these are the three states is having the sales revenue which are the states is having the less sales revenue so top 3 bottom 3 values you will see here bottom 3 values click okay okay So these are the states is having the very less sales revenue. Bottom three, you can display the top five values or you can display the top bottom values also, which are the having the less sales revenue data. So this is the way. So we can restrict the data by using the the ranking functionality. By using the ranking functionality, we can restrict the data to display the top and bottom values. Okay. Is that clear, everyone? Any questions? Okay. Yeah, Ramesh, please. Three states is showing right. In two thousand four, so for example, in two thousand sixteen, uh, Massachusetts is having four thousand right. Uh, it, it will display overall. Overall, it will not. Uh, Yeah, it's will it will overall which are the three states is having the less sales revenue. So which is not displaying in two thousand seventeen, which states are having the less sales revenue? That will not display. Okay. So, but question for your question, is it possible? Is it possible to do that? Yes. Okay. Let me let me try. If you had a set as a section, then it should display. So let me try. See, if you apply the section, and you can see in two thousand fifteen, Colorado, Florida, Colorado, Illinois, these three states are having the less sales revenue. But two thousand five, you can see other states are having the less sales revenue, right? If you apply the section, that you can do that. 
okay come in descending order right no no it will not display the descending order so based on the the values year and uh, state based on that it will display okay basically so if you remove that then you can see how the display so now it's showing the ascending order and when you make it edit a ranking and if you see the top 3 then it will display the descending order see okay whenever you have one object then only you can consider how the data is displaying descending or order ascending order descending will display when you make it stop okay and ascending order will display when you make the bottom values okay so how to remove the ranking go here remove the ranking so i can see all the data right now i just want to see always only the 10 records in my report any 10 record it will not display the all the data so in that case we have another option to restrict the data query prompt sorry query properties maximum row strength i want to display the only the 10 rows in my report the query should always bring only the 10 records you go okay now run a query it will show you partial records it will show only the 10 records first 10 records it will display not top records when any query level restrictions number of maximum rows restriction is there you will get this partial record symbol this is a partial record symbol okay fine in an interview sometimes they will ask so i am not getting all the records what could be the reason why we are not getting the record why we are not getting all the records first answer should be this maybe there might be a some query properties restriction maximum rows retrieved is the 10 records might be selected or maybe so you have a some filter condition is applied maybe ranking is applied okay so that all answer you have to tell maybe query level filters is applied okay maybe the first level uh, some filter conditions has created okay that all you have to answer it and also you uh, what any restrictions there in a query level so if there is any inverse load restrictions are there so that you can check in a where class maybe where year is equal to 2006 is there might be so it is showing only the 2006 data okay i hope it's clear so what are the different ways we can restrict the data to display the data in our report fine so so i'm stopping now so next session we'll discuss about sorting and also how to apply the breaks and section so the aggregate functions okay now also we'll discuss about uh, breaks and uh, sections fine breaks and sections and formatting of the report so this will cover i think uh, we can cover only these th three topics we can't cover more than that if we get a time so we can discuss the formatting of the reports also okay so that's it today we'll continue the session tomorrow same time thanks all and uh, uh, we have a sent a one recorded session link the folder link so we'll upload all the recorded session in the same link every day we are not sending the recorded session daily basis use that link uh, to access the recorded sessions so venkat is already shared uh, uh, recorded session link yesterday already okay so thanks all and uh, we'll meet tomorrow same time
Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye.